All right, team, what's going on? My name is Azure, and today we're going to be looking at the differences between the Air Travel Pack 2 and Travel Pack 3. Now, if you don't know, Air just announced the launch of the Travel Pack 3, and you might be curious if it's worth picking up or if you should pick up the Air Travel Pack 2. Over the past few years, Amy and I have used the Travel Pack 2 as our go-to travel bag for all of our adventures. We love the Travel Pack 2 because it's got great durable materials, a simple yet classy design that helps you blend into just about any city, and it's comfortable to carry when fully packed out. So in this video, we'll be comparing the features of the Travel Pack 2 and Travel Pack 3 to help you decide which bag to pick up. And don't worry, we're not sponsored by Air. We're just two travel enthusiasts who love backpacks and want to help you find a better way to carry your travel gear. So without further ado, let's dive in. All right, so let's look at the measurements of both bags. For the most part, both bags have the same length and depth at 21 inches long and 8.5 inches deep. The main difference here is the width, which is only about half an inch. The Travel Pack 2 is 13.5 inches wide, and the Travel Pack 3 is slightly smaller at 13 inches wide. In terms of capacity, the Travel Pack 2 is listed at 33 liters, while the Travel Pack 3 is listed at 35 liters. We're curious to know where the extra two liters came from, and we'll let you know when we get our hands on the bag. From our experience, the Travel Pack 2 feels like it's able to carry a little bit more than 33 liters due to the stretch in the materials. In terms of the weight of the bag, the Travel Pack 3 is slightly heavier than the Travel Pack 2, coming in at about 4.2 pounds, whereas the Travel Pack 2 weighs 3.7 pounds. In terms of the materials, both bags use 1680D Cordura Ballistic Nylon, and both bags feature YKK zippers and Duraflex plastic hardware. Also, both bags feature lockable zippers. Now, let's get into the pockets and features around the bag. Both bags feature a front pocket with an AquaGuard zipper. Taking a closer look at the side of the bags, both bags feature a compression strap, and the difference here is in the placement of the straps. The Travel Pack 2 compression straps covered the main compartment, and we feel that they did this as a safety feature because it would make it harder for someone to actually get into your bag if the zippers are covered. But in our testing, these buckles would get in the way every time we tried getting into our bags, even when they were unbuckled. However, the Travel Pack 3 addresses this by moving the compression straps so that they no longer block the zippers. Overall, we think this is a huge improvement, so thanks, Air. Also on the left side of the bag, we can see that the Travel Pack 2 has a water bottle pocket and a D-ring right above it. On the Travel Pack 3, they move the water bottle pocket to the other side, and instead, we have a secret pocket where you can store something like a passport. On the back of the bag, both bags have large padded carry straps with a sternum strap. Some of the difference here is that we can see are that the Travel Pack 2 has a squared off back mesh panel, while the Travel Pack 3 has a triangular shaped back panel. This back panel is to help with airflow, so we're curious to know what the differences are between the two bags once we're able to test it in hand. Some minor changes that you can also see here is that the D-ring has moved from one side of the bag to the other. On the back of the bag, you can see that Air added load lifters to the Travel Pack 3 and are really excited about this as we think this will really improve the way you carry the backpack. To accommodate the load lifters, Air added an internal frame sheet. Still on the back of the bag, both bags have a luggage pass-through and both bags have the option to add a hip belt. Moving on to the right side of the bag, the Travel Pack 2 really doesn't have anything, but you can see another shot of the compression straps here. On the Travel Pack 3, this is where they move the water bottle pocket and the D-ring. There's also a grab handle here, and we think this is a great improvement as we really wanted to have a grab handle on the side of the Travel Pack 2. At the top of the bag, both bags have a top pocket and grab handle. We think the grab handles are using slightly different material here, but we'll have to test it out to find out for sure. Moving on to the inside of the bag, there's a tech organization panel on both bags. For the most part, the panels look the same and have the same layout. But there are some minor differences in the trim and the mesh pocket. We also wonder if the material is more tightly stitched on the Travel Pack 3, as the material on the Travel Pack 2 is a little droopy from our experience. Moving on to the main compartment, both bags feature a large interior. The big difference here is the design of the flap. The Travel Pack 2 has two pockets, one mesh and one zippered pocket. The Travel Pack 3, on the other hand, has a mesh pocket and we think there's a large panel pocket, but we're not entirely too sure. So we'll let you know once we're able to get our hands on the bag. On the Travel Pack 3, there's also a small pocket to put an air tag or some other type of smart tracker. On the back of these bags, there's a laptop compartment. 
Both bags can easily fit a 16 inch laptop, even though the Travel Pack 2 lists it at 15.6 inches. But don't worry, it'll fit your 16 inch laptop, no problem. In terms of special features, the Travel Pack 2 has a shoe compartment at the bottom of the bag, whereas the Travel Pack 3 doesn't have a shoe compartment, but instead has an organization pocket in the laptop compartment. So there you have it. Those are the most notable features we've seen while browsing through the Air US and Japan sites. We hope this video was helpful to you. Let us know in the comments down below which bag you like better and if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.